You have the Samsung, this is the A01, it's an older phone, and you're wondering if you can speed up your phone. Here are two things to try. One is super easy that you should know inside the maintenance of your phone. It's an easy thing to do, it's built-in software. Let's get right to it, let's go into settings. Let's go to battery and device care, and just use the software that's inside the phone. Hit that, hit optimize now, and your phone will automatically make these checks for you to optimize your phone. The other thing you can do inside here is to go to your storage and make sure, oh, I'm not gonna go over how to discard your trash because there's no trash on this phone right now, but you should be able to go clear out your trash on a regular basis, especially if you're making a lot of videos and pictures and uploading, that kind of thing. All right, so that's, that's the easy way to make your Samsung Galaxy A01 run faster. Now here's a little bit harder it's complex. We're going to go into something called developer settings. And what we're going to do is affect the programming of how the phone runs. It sounds complex. It's actually very easy. And then if you don't like how your phone runs, it's easy to undo. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into settings. I'm going to show you how to turn on developer options. I'm going to show you the settings to change to make your phone run faster. We're going to compare it to this Samsung Galaxy S10e. And then if you stick around, I'll show you how to undo them if you end up not liking the changes. So let's get right into it. I'm going to swipe up, and I'm going to go to Settings. Inside the Settings, I'm going to scroll all the way down to About Phone. Oh, first I'm going to turn off the Internet. Just for security here, because I've got some neighbors where they have their Wi-Fi on. I don't want that to show up and they actually use their home address as their Wi-Fi address. All right. So here we are. We're in settings and we're going to touch about phone and we're going to touch software information. And inside software information, we're going to scroll all the way down to build number. Okay, we didn't have to scroll down that far. At build number, all we're going to do is touch this little row seven times. That was one, two, three, and you'll get this message. Four, five, six, seven. You should get this developer mode has been turned on. If you don't get it, you might have to touch it a couple of times or it's already on. All right, now we're going to back out one time. We're going to back out again two times. And now below about phone, you're going to see developer options. Touch developer options. And by default, it's on. Now here's where we have to be a little bit Careful, we're, we're going to scroll way down. Don't accidentally touch anything. If you do, back out or press cancel because there's a lot of settings on here that we don't want to change. In fact, I'll, I'll read you the, the warning here. So inside developer options, these settings are intended for development use only. They can cause your device and applications on it to break or misbehave. Okay. With that in mind, let's scroll down. Okay, we're looking for something called drawing. And there's input, there's drawing. Okay, now we, we're going to look at these three options right here. Transition animation scale, animator duration scale, and Windows animate. I read that in the wrong order, it's okay. So these are the, this basically runs your phone's software. And we'll get into, you'll see, you'll see with your own eyes the difference in what the changes we make versus how it comes standard. So before we make changes, I want you to see that 1x, 1x, 1x. So if we have to go back and change them, the default is 1x. So let's change them. Some people say your phone will be faster if you put it on 0.5. The smaller the number, the faster your phone runs. Obviously, you don't want to turn it up because then your phone runs really slow. I like to just turn the animations all the way off. Off, and then the last one, touch it, select off, and we're done. So let's go home, and now let's compare. So all I'm going to do is bring up the phone. Touch at the same time. You see that? How this one grows out of the icon, and this one blinks on. This is I've factory reset both of these, so they're both going to need a, a second to get the software running. Did you see how that blinked off? Let's do it again. Blinked on, grows out of its icon, and now let's close it. This one's going to blink off. And this one's going to close into its icon. You can see that with your own eyes. Let's do Messenger. 
blinks on, grows, and watch watch when we close them. Blinks off immediately, ready for the next actions, and this one closes. Let's bring up camera. Grows. And this one blinks on immediately. It's ready to take pictures of wood grain. And when we back out of it, immediately turns off, takes a moment, and closes. So what we've changed is all the different animations. See how there's, they want your phone to like function with the cool visuals. I don't, I don't want cool visuals. I want to be able to get to my next thing that I need to do. So if you're a person that runs different apps, you take a phone call, you send a message, you create a video, you log into a different app, you upload that video, you do a little more, more social media and you're back and forth, you're going to want those options so that your phone functions with a little bit more crispness, a little more speed, it's going to be faster. All right, if that's helped you, leave in the comments if you've made those changes and you like how your phone runs now. If not, if, if you want to stick around, uh, let's go over how to turn it off in case you don't like how that runs. Here we go. Let's jump into settings. Scroll all the way down to developer options. Let's set the, let's scroll down and find drawing. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. There it is, drawing. Let's touch Windows Animation Scale, set it back to 1x. Let's touch Transition Animation Scale, set it to 1x. And let's try touch Animator Duration Scale and to put it to 1x. And you feel free to experiment if you like how your phone runs with it off or if you like how the phone runs with the settings at 0.5. That's up to you. But let's turn them all back to the default 1x. And now let's turn the developer options off. And that will keep any accidental touches. As we read earlier in the warning, it can make your apps misbehave. And that's it. Let's back out. And now underneath About Phone, developer options doesn't even show up. So there's no way to accidentally touch it. All right. If this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.